What's up, I'm Rob, and you're watching Man Vs. Pin, the 50th episode, as a matter of fact. But it's not just the 50th episode as a whole, Threadbanger is about to hit 1 million subscribers. So to celebrate, we're taking a suggestion from one of our most famous subscribers and viewers, the butter-loving racist, Paula Dean, who suggested that we do a pin wars between Corinne and I. So this week, Threadbanger presents Man Vs. Pin... No. Man versus... Corinne versus, versus pin. pin. Sure. All right, so this pin has been floating around the internet since basically the beginning of the internet. The styrofoam lino cut. Now that's where you take the recycled food containers and you make art stuff out of them. Yeah, basically instead of using a linoleum block, which is really hard to carve, you use styrofoam. This is good for people that are prone to injury. And good for people that are broke. Step one, order chicken wings. Step two, eat the chicken wings. Mmm, chicken, chicken wings. wings. <laughs> Step three, cut out the top of the styrofoam box into a square. <sighs> ah, mother fucker. God damn it. Um, that didn't even happen. No. Oh yeah. Step four, grab a pencil and get your art on. Can <laughs> get my what? Art. Your art oh, on. I thought you said no, art. it was art. All right, so we're both doing one here. You know, for mine, um, I'm gonna do, uh, you know, a very elegantly poised middle finger. Very classy. Yeah, no, that looks good. What, what do you got over there? Well, um, El Hami posted a comment last week on my video, Chocolate Bowls, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, saying that my little water drop character was her spirit animal. So I'm bringing the water drop character back again this week because we all can relate to water drops sometimes. All right, I see that. I see that coming along there. Uh, my middle finger I'm accentuating here with uh, some fingernails, um, a little bit of line creasage, really adding some detail in that there. That is a good amount of detail. I can't really say that I have so much detail. And then I'm gonna write the words uh, million underneath here. So that way it's kind of like the, the middle finger is kind of representative of the one and then the million on the bottom of the one million subscribers. That's really smart. Which is just crazy. Now the, the main- Super clever. The main thing that you're gonna to wanna to do uh, when writing any kind of words on here is you're going to want to write the word backwards so that way when you make the print, it shows forwards. <laughs> is that that was that now what you're doing over there? Um, no. That's a shame. Yeah. So my backwards uh, million uh, word is looking pretty good. Yeah. You know, let's just really talk about the how f easy this is. You know, I thought this was going to be a little bit more difficult, but it's it's really just drawing on styrofoam. You, you want to make sure you, you don't press down too hard. So after a couple little lines, you figure out what the f you're doing. It's not f rocket science. I mean, it's way easier than using like a rubber stamp or a lino a lino cut. <laughs> rubber. <laughs> So, you know, I'm thinking that uh, I want to be kind of real artsy over here. I'm not even going to use this ink. I'm going to use the tangy, spicy barbecue sauce from the chicken wings itself onto here and see how that works. This is like some fucking Andy Warhol shit. It's just wrong. It's gross. Currently, I mean, you're using, what kind of ink is that? Regular ink that you're supposed to use. Speedball, regular ink. Okay. All right, well, let's uh, flip them over and let's figure out uh, how this works. You mean flipping it over. You just flip it over, right? Boom. Well, yeah, you put the ink on and you press it down on your piece of paper. Right, yeah. yeah. Put the f***ing ink on, flip it over. Yeah. Okay, here, Great. We, here we go. Flipping it over. One, two, three. Flip. flip. And then you just... Flip. You press it down. Mm -hmm. you make sure you got full pressage and stuff. Technical terms here. Yeah, press that sh down. Yeah. And uh, then you peel it off. Just slowly. I mean, not slowly really. peel off really in matters. three, two, oh my gosh. peel. Okay, peel. Okay. Huh. I mean, mine looks like shit. You can't read it. Well, mine. Yours obviously looks like shit too. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Yeah, I think you should try it with the regular ink. Trying with the ink. All right. Okay. This turned out pretty. This turned out pretty good. So, one more time, just for everyone out there who uh, can't read that. What does that say? One million. No, for yours. Yours. <laughs> Retsu... Retsu Carb. If you looked into a mirror and you held it, you'd be able to read it. Well, I can't wait for somebody to do that. I'm sending it to you, El Hami. You're gonna send that to them? Yeah! They'll love this shit. You've definitely won this 
throwdown. Oh, have I? I feel like you won this throwdown. I'm hmm. gonna just go ahead and concede and say that you win. Let's uh, let's give these away. What's the what's the protocol here? They should probably be subscribed. And then leave a comment below saying what your favorite man versus pin or Corinne versus pin episode is ever was or ever will be. Well, that is about the end of the project, and if you don't give a shit about anything else, uh, then you can just uh, kind of click out, but we're gonna do a little Q&A. So we asked over on Instagram and Twitter for you guys to pretty much ask us any question you could think of. Why not? It's the one million subscriber uh, Bonanza Celebration. episode. Bonanza. Oh. And Ask You Did. Here's some of our favorites. First of all, I'm very disappointed. There was an obscene amount of questions about our sex life. Well, they can see that over on uh, our other channel. Um, Red Banger. Thread bang. Thread bang. <laughs> Kelly over on Twitter asked if we regretted this fashion choice. Yeah, no, yeah, that is definitely some regrettable shit right there. Yo It's Low asked, which pins that we've done do we actually use? Oh, none of them. They fucking go straight in the garbage as soon as they're fucking done. I made my wedding dress, I wore that. That's true. There are some things. Very few. 6% of all Threadbanger projects have actually been worn or used. I have a higher percentage. Galaxy Stars asked, what is life? <laughs> Good luck with that one. It's a big middle finger is what it is. Elegant Destiny asked if we ever uh, wanted to kill each other, uh, and if so, how? I don't think we should answer that question. Cyanide or hemlock? That's Un so mean. Untraceable poisons is really the route that I would go. I mean, but you thought about killing me? No. No. <laughs> Will you write a book? No. <laughs> Fort Kylie asked, who would win in a game of rock, paper, scissors? Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. That's how you play the game! In all honesty though, we couldn't be more appreciative of all your comments and questions and views and subscribership-ness. Get the f*** over it. <laughs>